happy Veterans Day to all the veterans. Uh, Cameron is a veteran in the army, from the army. Um, but every year I normally buy him a Veterans Day gift and this year he said he wanted me to buy this palette for his Veterans Day gift. So I thought that was really sweet of him. Um, so thanks Bubby, I love you. And thank you to everybody who served. Just thank you, I don't know what to say. I just really, really appreciate you guys. All veterans from all branches, whatever you did. Thank you. Hi everybody, so oh my god, my god! <laughs> This is a Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson conspiracy palette and I went through a lot trying to get this palette. Uh, like everybody knows who tried to get it, the website went down, Jeffree Star Cosmetics went down. And I was one of those people at 10 a.m. and so was Cameron helping me trying to get this palette. <gasps> and we tried for like, I want to say five minutes on Jeffree's website. And then Cameron had the idea like, oh, what about Morphe? And I was like, oh, I don't think they're gonna have it on there. Like I thought it was just like Jeffrey's other European companies that he partners with. Um, so we checked on Morphe and I was able to put it in my cart before, oh my God, look at it. Before Morphe started going down too, so. I got a bit. There it is. You know what's even better? SD is my initials too. Hmm. Didn't realize that until right now. Oh, that's so nice. And this is like metal right here. And the clasps. It doesn't have the, the plastic on it. I wonder if it has to come from Jeffrey to get the plastic on there. Because on all the other videos that I watched, there was plastic on the triangle that they peeled off. The shade I'm most excited about is Luminati. Like, oh, I don't want to put my fingers in it. I don't want to swatch it. I'm not going to swatch it. I'm just going to use it. But this shade, this green shade, I don't know fits because I'm a Taurus and it's like emerald shade but I want to put that one on really bad and this one and this one and all those <laughs> but Illuminati is the one that I'm like really excited for so I'm gonna go get my brushes and stuff and start doing my makeup I don't know if anybody's noticed but this shade right here diet cola my soda can says diet in it I don't know if anybody else's does. I don't I don't think I've watched a review that somebody's noted that, but that's awesome. Look at it. It says diet or diet cola. Ah! Hi, so I'm going to start playing with the palette. Um, I am sitting in front of my pinball machines in honor of Jeffree Star since I have a small collection too. This one is Pirates of Caribbean. That's Iron Maiden Premium. And then we have a Baywatch over there that we've changed to color DMD. And this is in my dining room. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna close you up now that you've seen the pinball machines. If you hear the baby, it's because he's right here and he's my baby, so he's gonna be in the videos. So I'm just using Tarte Shape Tape. I have other eyeshadow primer, this one, but it's garbage, so. Hi, baby. What do you, mister? Uh, I don't know, what do you think I should do? One green eye and one red eye. Christmas. 
sure. Okay, so I am not a beauty guru. Don't come for me the way I'm doing for my makeup, but I'm going to use Illuminati first. Oh, but it's so green. Oh yeah, oh my God. I'm living my best life. That green is crazy. Okay, now I need to blend it out. I think I'm gonna use the Conspiracy shade to blend it out. It's a very, very green eye right now. <laughs> and then, I don't know, I could kind of do like a cut crease, I guess. And put some food videos on my lid. Let's see how this goes. I've honestly never done a cut crease, so if it turns out really bad, that's uh, why. I don't have fancy brushes, I have these eco tool brushes and then I have my little stitch head that holds the rest of my brushes and these brushes have you can't see it they have little stitches on them like running around and stuff so he's cute so I'm gonna put food vibes I think like on the inner and then I'm gonna put conspiracy and then more Illuminati and then Probably my rides here. Or maybe spiraling, I don't know. So let me do. Food videos first. Oh my God, it looks like so yellow. I wish I had this for Halloween. If I had, if I used my James Charles palette for that yellow, but it's definitely not as pigmented as this yellow. Kind of looked muddy, but... Yes, yellow! Okay. Let me put Conspiracy in the middle. Oh, that color is so pretty. It's like a sprucey, like mint green kind of color. It looks really good with the yellow and the Illuminati. And then let me put more green. Where's the brush I just used? More Illuminati in the outer corner. watched um, Shane go live on Instagram and when he was talking about all the other episodes that he have and people are coming for him about not releasing the drama episodes and I have to agree with him I think that since the drama has passed it's been like I don't know like four or five months now like there's no point of him really talking about it or bringing it up on the videos just to like stir the pot again like like he said everything's kind of like healed over and gone away and there's so much excitement for this palette for him to go put the videos out again we'll kind of be stepping backwards but he did say that he had an, a video of like the beauty conspiracy beauty conspiracy i would like to see that video I don't know what it deals with, but he said it doesn't have to do with the drama. So if he puts that video out, I would love to watch that because I watch all of his conspiracy videos as it is. So if he made one about like the beauty channels and the beauty vloggers and stuff, that would be really interesting to watch. Okay, so I'm gonna put, I did Illuminati on the outer corner. I'm gonna put, and I did it down underneath a little bit, so I'm gonna put Conspiracy right here, and then I'm gonna put food videos on the inner corner to match the top. Oh, I just poked my eye. Oh. And I'm gonna use Rain Inch for 
branch for a brow highlight. super white. I love ranch so when he was in the episodes naming the shade names I was like oh that's gonna be so good. And then I think should I put ranch in the inner corner too? Yeah I'm gonna put ranch. Use my pinky finger put ranch. right here so I have some sparkles Ooh. I'm just gonna do the eyeshadows first and then I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup probably off camera so it's gonna be my green eye and I'm gonna make this eye I really want to use not a fact and pigment and Trisha but I also want to use the browns Okay, I think I'm gonna try to go for like the same cut crease thing over here since it kind of turned out pretty good. And I painted my nails because I wanted it to match Illuminati. My nails are a little more blue. A lot of them Illuminati is more green, but that's where that inspiration came from. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do the same kind of setup. I'm gonna use Not A Fact, in like the cut crease area and then I'll blend it out with probably pigment and diet root beer and I would swatch these but I really don't want to stick my fingers in them <laughs> so I'm not going to plus there's about 500 other videos of people swatching this entire palette so kind of seems pointless to Ludge and ruin mine when you can see it. Oh my god, that's so pretty. You can see it on other people's videos. So this shade is not a fact. And then I'm going to blend it out with pigment. Or should I do diet root beer? Maybe pigment and diet root beer. Yeah, pigment and diet root beer. Mix those together. And kind of blending it out. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to do my little cut crease. Maybe I'll put some some spiraling in there too I don't know and people were saying that this is like I mean this heavy this packaging is like heavy and like thick and sturdy but I'm not having a problem holding it in my hand and I have my shape tape in my hand too because some people were like well it might get too heavy and your arm will hurt or whatever but I guess I'm not taking that long to do my makeup either so that's probably helping I've never done a cut crease before so the fact that this is like to me it looks decent. I don't know about beauty gurus and they're gonna come for me because I'm not doing my cut crease properly, but I've never done one before and it doesn't look bad, so I am not upset about it. So now I think I'm gonna do maybe pigment on the inner pigment on the inner I think Trisha maybe flaming hot i don't know oh my god it's so pink it's like barbie came over here and vomited on my inner corner look how pink that is oh my oh man oh man okay do pink need to Put a little more not effect right here just to cover up my line where I messed up a little bit. Should I do flaming hot or Trisha in the middle? Flaming hot. Okay. Flaming hot says husband. So flaming hot will go in the middle. Let me use a different brush. 
I literally have like eight brushes and I'm using all the brushes at this moment. Flaming hot in the middle. I loved watching all of the episodes in the Jeffree Star series. I especially liked, um, I know Shane was talking about it on his Instagram live, but how he put left Morgan's story like in the videos. And I think that was really important because almost every beauty guru, vlogger, whatever, they all have like filler and you know, their teeth like done, which they all look beautiful. But I think for the normal person, it kind of almost puts, not puts you off, but like makes it feel unattainable to do makeup videos like if you don't have fake teeth and fake lips and botox and filler and everything so i appreciate that moment in there because i don't know to me like even when i do my when i edit my own videos my teeth like aren't straight and i always look at it like Ooh, like is somebody gonna come for me because my teeth aren't perfect and the fact that he's telling Morgan like she's beautiful the way she is and to not listen to all of the other vloggers that are like jealous of her and are just trying to steer her the wrong way like I think it was a good moment even though it was like a brief moment in one of the videos it still got like the point across basically sorry I keep rolling closer to the to the camera I'm on a like a what do you call this ball? A yoga ball? A yoga yes. balance ball? Aerobic ball. Aerobic whatever. Jumpy ball. <laughs> I should put some Trisha. Using Trisha anyways. This shade's so pretty. It's like glittery and like hot, hot pink. Yep, yep, yep. This was a correct decision. So I have Pigment, Trisha, Flaming Hot. Now I'm gonna end it with some more Not A Fact in the outer corner. I'm gonna try to wing it out over here. So it looks like I have a little eyeshadow winged moment. Yes. It's like Christmas. Christmas above my eyes. <laughs> this will pro this video will probably come out today, tomorrow, I don't know. Um but in a couple days it's Veterans Day. So I wanna say happy Veterans Day to all the veterans. Uh Cameron is a veteran in the army, from the army, whatever. Um but Every year I normally buy him a Veterans Day gift and this year he said he wanted me to buy this palette for his Veterans Day gift. So I thought that was really sweet of him. Um, so thanks Bubby, I love you. And thank you to everybody who served. Just thank you, I don't know what to say. I just really, really appreciate you guys. All veterans from all branches, whatever you did, thank you. And that's that <laughs> before I start crying. So let me put more out of fact over here. Kind of want to just put Trisha all underneath my under eye instead of matching everything. So I'm gonna do Trisha. Yes. See, so much pink. Okay, so I think I'm happy. Oh no, I need to put, I need to put ranch on my eye. I need some, need some ranch on my brow bone. I really like this color, but it's really pigmented. It's like super white, so. I'm kind of like dulling it down a little bit with my finger because it looks too, too, too crazy if I'm not doing that. Okay, so there's my eyes.
I have pigment here, Trisha, flaming hot, not a fact. Then I have Trisha underneath. And I'm gonna put ranch in the inner corner to match my other eye. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna put more ranch on this side. <laughs> so good. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and the rest of my makeup maybe. Let me try to put some eyelashes on and then I will be back. Okay, so here is my final look. Um, I was going to put on fake lashes, but I've never used them before and it kind of turned into a little disaster. So if my eyeliner looks wonky, that's why. But here is the Illuminati conspiracy and food videos with ranch in the inner corner. And then this is basically like all the reds in the palette. Over here also with ranch in the inner corner. And I just did white on my lower lash line. And I just have regular mascara on so I don't have no lashes. This look would look way better with lashes. And then I just did a basic lip stick that I have and I put sleep paralysis on top with ranch in the centers. And then I used root beer actually for my contour and like around my forehead and stuff. Uh, I forgot to mention I used, so I used root beer as my contour and then for my highlight I used a mixture of ranch and just a theory. So I mixed those two for a highlight. I think it turned out pretty crazy. Um, but I like it a lot because yes for color <laughs> and uh, Yeah, there's the final look and uh, If you like this video give it a thumbs up uh, Subscribe down below Shane and Jeffrey. Thank you for creating this palette. It's amazing and I am so excited to use it for the rest of forever and Yeah, um, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye Can you help me? Can you, no, pull it open. Wait, it's gentle.